This is the Blitzbus chassis I got off eBay. This is the Chromimco ZPU card, which is a CPU card with a Z80. These pins were pretty corroded, so I pulled this out, cleaned up the pins, and then shoved that back in. It came set to work at 4 megahertz, and the switches here are set that it will automatically jump to hex C000 when it starts up. And I need to figure out what this bodge wire here does. But the thing I want to do right now is actually install an IC socket here so I can actually use this with my MSI front panel to test it. The refresh enabled jumper is disconnected. So if you use this with dynamic memory, then whatever card you're using needs to handle its own refresh. There's a feature here called address mirror that has to do with the way that ports appear on the S100 bus that comes set to on. And apparently that's a useful thing to have for some compatibility with some older cards that were created for the 8080 processor. So let's see, what is this guy? This is a 74367. That's a hex buffer and line driver with three state output. And we're looking at pin four on IC40. Let's see, so pin four on IC40 is this buffer that's driving the SINTA output to the S100 bus, whatever that is. And it's connected to this M1 point here that has something to do with weight states for use with slower memory. And so the bodge wire is connecting all of that to this M1 point here on this 74157. I don't know what that is doing. I don't see anything about it in the manual. So let's see. This says that Cinta indicates the status line is active when the master is responding to an interrupt request and expects the interrupting device or interrupt controller to place data on the DI bus during the cycle. So why are they tying that to that M point? If anyone has any insight into what this is trying to do, please leave a comment below. So I'm going to test this with a known good memory card. This is not mapped to that C000 address it's gonna to try to jump to, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna stop it and reset it and just key in a test program. Okay, so nothing exploded. Okay, so I keyed in the standard test program where we can flip switches on the input here and it will give me the inverse pattern on the outputs, whoops. Okay, let's not talk about that. Anyway, pretend the switch is on here not falling off all the time. I need to do something about that. Uh, the switch broke, sadness. Anyway, so it looks like that works with that bodge wire and it's working at this higher speed with that memory card. So there you go. I would still like to know what that bodge wire does.